horrible. Look. What goes up must come down, right? You are a cool cat. Well, not always if you're a cat. When a cat is frightened by something, it's an immediate escape. Loud noises, raccoons, the neighbor's dog. Ah! Andrew Joslin knows what drives cats into the treetops. Joslin is a professional tree climber and arborist. An average of 10 times a month, people call him with a frantic plea, rescue my cat. Many cats that I rescue are in trees like this. This tree is 85, 90 feet. I like to set a high rope because cats move around. Sometimes I have to chase them quite a bit. While climbing, Joslyn carefully observes these skittish kitties bag in hand. Sometimes my presence in the tree disturbs the cat. The cat comes right out of the tree. So cat logic is not human logic. The cat needs an escalation to get it to move. I get it. Most of my cat rescues are indoor cats that have escaped. An indoor cat is just not used to being outside, so they're in a heightened state. The problem for cats is that they're very well adapted for going up. They have no ability to go down face first. The only way a cat can come down is to back down the tree. Come on. And that is a learned skill. It is not innate. <laughs> All right. Sometimes Jocelyn faces a cat conundrum, resistors who need coaxing to come down. But most are thrilled to see him. Occasionally, he even lets the cat out of the bag. I have had cats just jump on me and start purring. And at that point, I don't bag them. I just say, okay, let's go. Joslyn also rescues other animals, including young owls or hawks who have fallen out of their nests and need mom. These guys are about 40 grams. Joslyn often works with Kirsten Herschler, an animal control officer in Westford, as well as a licensed wildlife rehabilitator. So these guys are fed about every three hours. These two-week-old squirrels were separated from their mother, who never returned. Herschler says Massachusetts has only 141 rehabbers, and they do rescue work for little to no pay. In Massachusetts, you must have a permit to rehab wildlife. It's been so busy, some rehabbers have just burned out. So we're really hoping that more people will try to get licensed th through the state. Hi, Mama. Anna Chaletsky hopes more people will adopt pets from shelters. She's a field agent with the Animal Rescue League of Boston. While there are plenty of animals here who need homes, Chaletsky shares this eye-popping statistic. In the state of Massachusetts, there are approximately 700,000 community cats, and in Boston alone, 70,000. Community cats is an umbrella term for stray, feral, and outdoor cats who have no clear owner. Since 2017, we've brought in over 2,200, and it's fantastic because about 70 plus percent of those cats have all found homes. Chaletsky and her team run a trap, neuter, and release program. We give them the vet care that they need, make sure that they're spayed, neutered. We even microchip them, vaccinations. And then they go through a behavioral evaluation. Some feral cats, however, want nothing to do with people. After treatment, they are returned to where they were found. Volunteer Melissa Salsi helps socialize community cats before they are adopted. It's really important for me to help them learn that people are not scary, but if you read their body language, they will tell you everything that you need to know. Come here, Champy. Window shopping is welcome at the Animal Rescue League Sanctuary in Dedham. She, of course, is very adorable. Ryder is a 10-week-old kitten. It can otherwise be hard to find kittens in shelters. There have been days that we bring in 18 kittens. In one day, there's not an application that you have to fill out ahead of time. Many times people can go home with a pet that same day. And that is the cat's meow. Why am I a cat person? Ooh, well don't tell the dogs. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little mix of all of it. It's hard not to be <laughs> when you're interacting with them so much. Once you get a cuddle from one cat, it's hard to stop. <laughs> Can't resist, you just wanna go meow. All right, well back to Andrew Jocelyn. He says if your cat is stuck in a tree, 
Do not use a ladder to reach it yourself. People often do this and get hurt. He also suggests teaching your cat to climb on an indoor climbing structure. That way your kitty can get a little practice. And experts say if you find a wild animal on your property, please call animal control. Up next, new clothes to the rescue.